From our WordPress dashboard, we're going to go to PayPal Invoicing Settings. From here, we can see all the options we have available. The business information is our address, which show up on every invoice that we create. Default values could be set. So again, if we know we want the same value on most invoices, we could set that here so it's automatically applied. Logging and some invoice sync history options here. So for now, we're just going to start by logging into our PayPal account to do the general hookup. So this will send us over to PayPal login. I'm going to go ahead and log in using one of my test sandbox accounts here for demo purposes. And the first time we set this up, we're going to be presented with this where it's asking us that telling us that the invoicing plugin wants access to some of our profile info, permission to create and manage invoices, and we need to agree to this. So let's go ahead and do that. That will give the plugin access to do just these things and nothing else. When we come back to the settings, we can see that it pre-filled with our PayPal profile info. And my account did not have a phone number in it. So if I want that to show up on the invoice, I'll go ahead and fill that in. Any other info I might want to adjust here, I could. I'm going to go ahead and add a logo. So we can add anything in our WordPress media library. I'll add when I have available. We could upload a new one, of course. So we'll add that. And maybe I know that on most of my invoices, I'm going to want $5 shipping. So I could apply that here. And maybe I also want to add a thank you note to my customers on the invoice. So that'll just show up on every new invoice that we create. I'll go ahead and leave logging enabled. and We'll leave invoice history alone for now and we'll save our changes. So at this point, we're ready to go. All we need to do is go to create invoice. Here we can see the logo that I had applied. We can see my $5 shipping is applied and we are ready to create and send an invoice.